Hey, it's Brad from NextWeb, and this would be a Chrome icon on my iPad because I got Chrome for iOS. So I thought I would uh, give you guys a little overview of it. I tried using Display Recorder, and unfortunately, it doesn't work because it kind of records in, uh, well, screenshots. And so, you know, you can't really see how well a page is loading. So this is Chrome for iOS, and it really looks a lot like Chrome uh, for your desktop. As a matter of fact, if I go over here and open a tab, I can pull up the next web here and kind of give you guys an overview of what I'm seeing with it. Now you'll notice that it was a, it was a little bit slow to load on that right hand page. Uh, let me go to a page that I haven't been to yet. Let's see. So if we go to, oh, let's say uh, Flickr in this and you'll see how it's rendering. Now you'll notice that it does a pretty decent job of rendering relatively quickly and Unless you've got a lot of JavaScript on a page, it actually does a really nice uh, job as being your you know, day-to-day -day browser. My problem with it comes when you've got a lot of JavaScript on a page, and that is a direct reflect of, or direct reflection rather, of unfortunately Apple's insistence that other apps, third-party apps, cannot use the Nitro JavaScript engine. That's a problem, and the issue comes in when you start loading pages. So, you know, if I come over here, and go over to Safari and then go up to the next web. If I could actually hit the button there. So you'll see, you know, even when the next web is not fully loaded, even when my JavaScript, like here on this Facebook box, is not fully loaded, I have a really smooth browsing experience because of that Nitro JavaScript. It, uh, for whatever reason, it just does a much better job in allowing you to uh, pull up pages and to have a usable page very early in the process, as opposed to Chrome, which doesn't always do so hot with that. So if I go over here and I uh, close that, let's let's say we go to this other story here. You'll notice it's, it's a little clunky, um, you know, it's a, a little bit, well, not as nice. And that's an unfortunate thing because everything else about this is really, really good. Everything else about the entire experience is fantastic. You know, the fact that I can come up here and I can open a new tab and I have my most visited, my bookmarks, or my other devices. You know, I can actually see right here exactly what I'm looking at on my Pro, uh, exactly what I'm looking at on my phone as well, where I'm signed into Chrome. You know, it's really very good. Uh, you've got the incognito mode on it as well. Of course, you know, I've got all of my books here, or bookmarks, my other devices. Uh, settings are, you know, relatively straightforward. You can go in and, and clear your browsing data, do your voice search uh, languages and things like that. So if we go in and let's, let's actually do a voice search, which is very nice. It's actually really good. Uh, so if we go in and search for the next web, and let's see what it finds for us. Uh, well, okay, so it's the next wed. Um, what about if I search for myself? Let me find that. Brad McCarty. Eh, darn it. Unfortunately, there's not, a, not any feedback either. Brad McCarty. There we go. You know, and it, uh, it does a really nice job of rendering the page fairly quickly. Uh, you know, as you can see here, it's uh, on, on subtle, you know, obviously it's going to render exceptionally quickly because there's just not a whole lot to those pages. Uh, so the voice search is very good. Uh, you know, obviously it doesn't work offline because it does need the internet connection in order to uh, be able to pull up your page for you and, and to find those results. Uh, I really wish from a, from a user interface point of view that there was some way for it to tell me when I pulled this up that there was some way to see whether it was picking up my sound or not. Let's see. The wife of the sausage, or some ways to see what. Exactly. Nicely done, Chrome. But anyway, there you have it. It is Chrome for iOS, and you can go download it now from a few of the app stores. I know it's live in the U.S. and the U.K. As of the time that I'm making this, you'll have to check for your own to see if it's live there yet. I am Brad for the nextweb.com.